Yo, what's up guys? It's Louie and today I'm going to go through all of my CS2 Pro settings. I know a lot of people like to ask what my settings are when I'm streaming. So I'm going to go kind of in depth in all the settings just show you guys all my binds, my res, my sensitivity, all that sort of stuff because I'm sure you guys might want to know what it is, especially since a lot of people like to copy pro settings. I thought I'd just go in depth on why I use some of the stuff. But before I do that, if you guys want to instantly sell your skins, make sure you guys check out the sponsor of this video, Skin Place. The sponsor of today's video is Skin Place a site where you can instantly and safely sell skins for real money and it only takes seconds. To get started, you need to log in via Steam, choose the skins you want to sell. Next, choose a withdrawal method, currently available Visa and MasterCard cards, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and balance on the site if you plan to withdraw money later. Enter your wallet number. Don't forget to use my promo code LOUISCS for a 3% deposit on your first sale. When you have filled in all the gaps, click receive money and voila, the funds will arrive into your account soon. I left the link to skin place in the first First comment have good sales so the first thing I'm gonna go over is my resolution now right now I am actually playing black bar so I'm not playing stretch resolution on my computer through like my Nvidia graphics card and stuff and a lot of people don't play black bars but I actually switched to it because I saw Stewie playing it so I've been using black bars and really enjoy it so I am playing the 4-3 aspect ratio now my brightness is set to 80 and then my resolution is 1024 by 768 I think this res is good for me and I really like how the game feels so when you guys find a resolution you guys want to play around make sure the game just feels good because some might feel a little bit more laggy than others and like maybe the game might be too fast or too slow so just make sure when you guys are choosing your resolution just keep that in mind then obviously my display mode is full screen and then my refresh rate is 239 now I don't have laptop power saving mode enabled because obviously I'm not on a laptop so you don't have to worry about that now my advanced video settings all of these I actually copied from Munasi when he did his video because I thought it would increase my frames now obviously I do have global shadow quality on high because I want to see all the shadows from the players because if you do have this on low you actually won't be able to see their shadows and shadows do give you an advantage in cs2 especially on a map like ancient with all the lights and stuff you can catch some really good timings and good info from those shadows but i do have you know boost player contrast enabled so i can obviously see the players a lot better the vertical v sync is disabled multi sampling is four times i do kind of like the game looking a little bit grainy rather than smooth for some reason and i'm not sure why so that's why i do have this on you know four times as well as with my texture filtering on four times as well. Just something about the game just not looking as good as it should. I don't know why I like that, but you know, that's fine. My shader details high, particle detail is low because the Molotovs do give off a lot of particles as well with the smoke. And some of the maps also have those random particles like I know Overpass did. So I actually turned this to low just to kind of minimize all those not showing up on my screen. Now ambient occlusion, I do have disabled. High dynamic range, I just have it on quality. And then my fidelity FX super resolution, I have disabled so I can get a lot more frames and then the video reflex low latency is enabled because I actually notice I do have some little bit of lag on my computer so that's why I have that enabled now my HUD settings are obviously just full I know a lot of people like to you know maybe shorten their HUD and make everything a lot closer on their screen if they sit close but I obviously just have mine on max now this is one of the important things is audio there's a lot of different things in here that a lot of people play around with now my master volume is usually in my console I just set this to two so I'm not sure what this master volume actually is. Now my audio device is obviously default. I am using an ASO and Aspire headset because I'm partnered with them. My EQ profile is set on crisp. I like the way this sounds. I know a lot of pros have it different, but this is obviously what I like to use. My left and right isolation is 35%. Now I played around with this and didn't really notice a big difference. And I actually saw Wonderful was using 35%. So I changed it to what he had it because, you know, I thought he's on Navi. He won a major. Maybe he knows something. And I do think I do hear very well with these sound settings right here. My perspective correction is set to yes. And then, you know, play audio and gaming background is yes, which doesn't really matter. But these settings, I actually am very comfortable with and do like using them i recommend that you guys play around with them because they're more preference especially since everyone has different hearing now my other player volume you know that's 100 obviously i use push to talk i'm on my default stuff now my music volume this could be important to some people because my round end volume i have at 17 percent i do have an mvp volume because i actually like my music kit and like to hear it and then the 10 second warning as well the 10 second warning volume is very important because it tells you when you can diffuse and if you have time to diffuse 
diffuse. I know you have time to diffuse with like one second after the music starting. So it's a very good tell, especially if you want that little advantage in game that some people don't know about. It is a very, very old trick, but I do recommend you guys do have your 10 second warning volume up. The round end timer, that music, that doesn't really matter. I just kind of like my music kit. So I like that to play. And then all of this right here is just set to default. Now moving on to game, obviously I have my console enabled so I can type in all my commands right here. Max ping, I don't really play, you know, matchmaking. So none of this actually really matters to me. You know, obviously these commands, they're kind of whatever. Now my HUD scale is 0.95. My HUD color, I change this a lot. I usually do white because I kind of just like it looking default, but I did switch to purple because that's one of my favorite colors and I thought it looked cool. I do have the large player count on so I can see all of the pictures and stuff like that. So then I know who's alive and who's not because in pro play, it's just easier to look up at the pictures and see who's alive. Now for this team stuff, I do have show equipment and location in the HUD. I have the show colors for the mini map as well. I also have the, you know, use colors on team ID and then this stuff doesn't matter. Now these settings are good if you want to be a high tier competitive player because they can help you out in a lot of team play. Now player pings, I do have display without sound and I don't really like the sound of pings. I can rather, it's just easier for me to see them and I think the ping sound kind of distracts me in game. A lot of times when you are playing on a team, you'll tell your teammates like off mic, off mic. So I don't want anything, you know, distracting me. I don't want to yell at my teammates for them pinging because I hear the sound. So I think it is a disadvantage if you do use it with sound. All of these are no, obviously. I don't have the text filtering. If people want to curse at me, I can read it. That's fine. I do have the animated avatars. You know, that's just like preference stuff right there. The spectator and scoreboard doesn't really matter as much. This is more of just like spectator stuff if you're watching demos. Now this stuff could be kind of important like the delay sniper rifle unscope after shot that should that should always be set to no i don't know why they even added that setting the auto resume i do have set to yes if i don't feel like quick switching it'll just automatically scope in and then obviously i do have the disable silencer just for the memes of it i think that's cool now my view model is set to classic and i am set to my right hand i don't have a bind which you'll see for switching the hands because i just don't really like that first person tracers i think that helps me with the spray always show inventory this is very important as a competitive player because it'll show me my nades in the bottom right and it won't fade out like it usually does. I don't have open buy menu with keys. The buy menu numbers are obviously, you know, default. My buy menu donation key is left control so I can, you know, obviously donate some weapons and not drop mine. My radar is centered and it does rotate as well so I can kind of see where I am through smokes. And this is my, you know, my radar size right here. Obviously, this is all preference as well. It depends how close you play to your monitor, how far away. And then I do have a bind for toggling in and out which we'll see here. Now, this is my crosshair which I can, um, um, you know, show you guys right here if you want to copy it. I do change my crosshair a lot. If you guys do watch my stream, you do know that. Just a nice crosshair I use. This is something similar to Stewie since I did copy his res, so I've been using that. You know, obviously that's my code right there if you need it. Now, I do have the grenade crosshair binds on everything except the decoy. The smoke grenade does come on instantly, but everything else is delayed because I don't really need some crazy lineups for like a flashbang, an HE, or a molly. It's more rather for the smoke grenade, so I do have that instantly turning on. And then for my, you know, little HUD setting with the FPS and stuff, the these are my settings. This is all preference if you want to see this or not. I like to see if I am lagging or if there's anything weird going on with my game. So these are obviously what I'm using. I don't recommend or recommend using this because obviously it tailors to whatever kind of PC or internet you have or if you care to see it or not. Now moving on to my keyboard and mouse. These are all my binds and sensitivity. You can see here, obviously no reverse mouse. You know, my walk and my crouch is obviously hold. Uh, my mouse sensitivity right now is 1.2 at 800 DPI. So at 400 DPI, that is obviously 2.4. If you guys play on, you know, that. And then my zoom sensitivity is actually 1.02. Sometimes I feel like my op scoping or my op flicking is a little bit slow, so I do turn that up. Then here we have my movement keys. My toggle inventory is I. And then obviously, you know, WASD, my walk is shift, my crouch is control. I know a lot of people like to switch these up a little bit. They'll make walking their control key and crouching shift because they think that's easier. So obviously, that's all preference. Now my jump key is my mouse wheel down, which I have bound to my config, which is why it doesn't show here. And I actually don't use spacebar at all. I actually have that unbound because when I play, I hold down my spacebar. Now here's all my other settings here that we can kind of just, you know, go through them. You know, my inspect keys on my F, my drop is G, pretty much like standard binds, uh, buy menu 
use B. I don't really use the auto rebuy that much. Now, these are bound to numbers, these HE grenades, but I do have binds for them, which you can see here, which I really recommend. These are also set to numbers because in my auto exec, it rebinds them when I do open the game. So these honestly really don't matter, but I do have like my Molotov on Z. My C is my smoke. My B is my flash. So that's very important as well. And then obviously these are, you know, my UI keys. Don't really have anything bound. Radio commands, I don't use at all besides my push to talk in game and then my chat binds right here. So these obviously are all preference as well, depending on how comfortable you are pressing your keyboard. I don't use any of the chat wheels or anything like this. I think, you know, if you're someone who doesn't communicate, obviously you could use these and they could be important. But for me, I don't use them. But those are all of my settings that I am currently on. Maybe copy some of these if you want, you know, pause the video or go back, whatever you need to do. There's a lot of good settings in here. I know like obviously they've added some new stuff in here like my radar zoom bind is my h key which again is in my auto exec so if you guys do want my auto exec make sure you guys just comment down below if you want that i can go ahead and just paste that in the description as well but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button comment down below if you think maybe some of my settings might be a little jacked up those are all my current settings so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out